What up? We're here. We made it. We fucking made it. A thousand subscribers. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh. Never thought this would happen until recently, probably in the last three months. I, I honestly did not think this was going to happen, and especially not this year anyway. But um, with all your support uh, and, and with a few things that I've changed recently in the way that I approach this YouTube thing, uh, we have made it. I've just got back from holiday, from a two-week holiday in Thailand. Uh, this actually happened whilst I was away. I wanted to make the video over there, but I did want to... You know, make sure I included everything to to explain to you guys how I got here, um, and and make sure that I thanked you guys enough because without any of you, without my supporters, without my OGs from the start, man, um, none of this would be possible. And it's you guys that keep me motivated on those days where I just can't be fucked doing it. You know what I mean? As far as Yes, this is a natural bodybuilding lifestyle, but there are days when I don't feel like training, when I don't feel like staying on my diet, um, when I don't feel like talking to the camera. And the fact is, is that my YouTube channel and the community that I'm growing surrounding it keeps me going on those days. And, and it's fantastic. It's not just about me putting myself out there to try and get famous or anything like that. This is, this is a real motivating factor for me, um, having this channel having you guys to be accountable to and you know it's fantastic at the end of the day some days I think should I be putting my 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 life out there on the social media platform you know for everyone to critique and um, and and hate on sometimes I do get hate in fact that's probably gonna be another video looking through my hate comments because they are pretty funny but this video is First and foremost about thanking each and every one of you. I don't know how long you've been subscribed for. I don't know if you are a subscriber. If not, please do. Uh, I don't know what number I'm going to be at by the time that you reach this video. But right now, we're at around about 1,060 subscribers. And I'm absolutely stoked. I cannot believe it. So before I get on to anything else, once again, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you everyone for, for every one of your comments, your likes, shares, every view. I mean, every single thing counts. This YouTube algorithm, no one is ever going to know exactly how it works, but I know that the better, better the response on a video, the better it's going to do, the more people it's going to reach. So if you do see a video that you, des that you think really does deserve to get out to the masses, man, give it a like. You don't need to share it. I, I've never shared a, a YouTube video. But, um, you know, give it a like, freaking possibly write a comment. I mean, the more comments on a video, the better the video does. I'm not begging for anything. I never have and I never will. I've never got one shout out. I've never done one collaboration. All this shit is, is on my own and with you guys' support. And I can't thank you enough. So, you know, with that being said, okay, those are the thanks and the congratulations. Must have been a few of you guys out there actually watching uh, my subs go up like I was and once I did hit a thousand um, I did get a few comments and a few messages congratulating me so once again thank you to you guys uh, but with that with that being said let's talk about you know my journey to this point um, it's been a long one it really has um, if we're going to talk about you know specific dates uh, I created my YouTube channel I think it was because I wanted to watch an R18 video um, and you obviously need to sign up for that. At this point I had no idea um, about you know most of the fitness industry. I didn't know that I was going to make a channel. Um, at that point I was, I was still pretty lost. I was you know 19 years old, still trying to find myself. I'd been in Australia for about just under a year. This is in May 2010. And um, yeah, I, I was. I was. I was really trying to find myself. I wasn't in a job I liked. I didn't have much money, and um, and you know I just started in the gym sort of scene. And YouTube was was like a friend to me, and it's it, it always has been. You know, the the accounts that I followed back then 
twin muscle workout, Chris Jones, Matt Ogus, you know, Guzman hadn't even started. Um, all of those guys have been busting their ass ever since then. You know, for the for the last five years straight, these guys have busted their ass. And you, you look at you look at them with a couple of hundred thousand subscribers, five hundred thousand subscribers, and you think some people may think that they were overnight successes. Well, absolutely not. You know, these guys have busted their ass. Not only do they have awesome physiques, we're just talking about the fitness industry here. Um, not only that, but but you know, they probably started treating YouTube as you know a full time job um, pretty early on uh, when they saw potential. And it wasn't wasn't actually until about two and a half years later. Um, at the end of 2012 that I decided to actually put up my first video and it was to do with rugby. So I did a rugby tutorial video. I did, I did four tutorial videos. I only actually ended up putting up two and, um, and those videos started going pretty well. Um, but it wasn't until another year and three months had passed. So I started my YouTube channel in May of 2010 it wasn't until October of 2012 that I put up my first video. And 2013 went by. I had heaps of ideas for videos. I just never put them up. It never came to fruition, which I think a lot of people are in that position. All you got to do is just do it, man. You know, right now, I don't give a fuck about what my voice sounds like. Back then I did. Uh, you've really got to get over that or else you never, you know, you paralyze yourself. You're never going to put anything out. But anyways, start of 2014, I was on a serious cut. I, I believed I was going to uh, compete on the stage for the first time. That never actually happened, but what I decided to do was to make a vlog series. Um, I'd seen heaps of other people make them. I thought, fuck it, you know what, I'm going to do it too. I don't care if I don't get any views, I'm just going to make it. At least I can look back on it in the future and, um, and it will be a cool little series. So that's what I started doing and that was at the start of 2014. Um, from there, you know, I, it was pretty intermittent for that, that year. I didn't end up competing. I just did a few update videos, maybe a couple of training videos here and there. By the end of 2014, I think I probably had about, I don't know, 50 subscribers at most. And I thought, mm, is YouTube going to be for me? I'm not sure. So, you know, if we're going to talk about concrete numbers here, this is, this is how the subscriber curve has sort of gone for me. Um, like I said, first video went up late 2012 at the end of 2013 i had about 40 subscribers at the end of 2014 i had around about a hundred now at the start of 2015 i started vlogging a little bit more regular i started putting a bit more effort into my vlogs um i started you know thinking about having an intro i never had an intro before that things like that uh, by the middle of 2015, so we went from about 100 subscribers up to just under 300. So that's a year ago. I was, you know, still struggling, grinding along, thinking, is it going to work? I'd, I'd raised my subscriber count up to nearly 300, and I thought, right, okay, I'm at a point now where I'm going to compete. So I ended up competing on the bodybuilding stage, and I thought, right, I'm going to take this opportunity to, to vlog to the stage. Um, and hope that you know that series is going to get out there and people are going to enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. So I'm not sure how many of you guys actually saw that series or how many of you guys came to my channel because of that, but I had a really good time uh, making that, and you know I, was, I put a lot of effort into that series and I did compete in the end. And um, sadly, you know the videos that go well are actually just my my body fat percentage videos, you know, the, the ones that go the best are ones with me posing, um, short videos, the, the longer vlog sort of videos actually showing an insight into my life, they don't go that well. And you know, you do get disheartened. When, when you don't have a big subscriber, subscriber base, how, how are your personal vlogs actually going to go well? They're not going to. So at the end of the day, I just kept grinding. A year ago, I had a little less than 300 subscribers. 90 days ago, on the 30th of April, I had around about 600. So, you know, let's put that into context. It took me th like three years to get up to 300 subs and it took me 270 days to get another 300 and it's taken me the last 90 days to actually hit a thousand. So obviously that subscriber curve has sort of started, started going up slowly, slowly and um, I'm just going to roll with it.
with all that being said, you know, one of one of my favorite things about having a YouTube channel is the fact that you can look at your analytics. And an analytics is your statistics for your channel. So they've got an awesome studio app. You can use it on your phone. You can check everything at real time. You know, viewers, subscribers, what videos have the most likes, uh, the most views, you know, co comments come in. I see them automatically and I can reply to them. It's an amazing, you know, piece of piece of software. Uh, but one thing I've actually watched over time grow and, you know, we're at a point now where it's actually doubled probably in the last year is it, it's not viewership. It's not subscriber count because that's obvious. It's actually what percentage of my views on my videos are from my subscribers because, you know, I'd love to have a, a huge subscriber base that are actually watching my videos, you know, having someone subscribe to your channel but never watch anything or never give any likes, never never comment or anything there, you know, it's it's kind of useless. It's it's a it's a number on your subscriber count, but at the end of the day they, they don't give you any, you know, feedback. They don't give you anything. So and I'm not I'm not, you know, saying that I I need that or anything, but around about a year ago, um that number was below three percent. It was a it was between two and two and a half percent of my total views were actually from my subscribers. And I do believe that was because one video I put out, which was, you know, the first video I ever put out that went sort of viral, um, which was a fantastic feeling. And, and, I, and that made me realize, you know, if I can do it, anyone can do it. But it was, it was a short video of me posing. I said, what does 15% body fat really look like? And I knew it was gonna go well because at the time I was slightly under 15%. So someone would see the thumbnail, they'd think, oh, that guy's under 15%, what's he on about? And before I knew it, um, it was up to 100,000 views. So, you know, to have one video like that out of all of my videos that went really well, obviously that is going to, you know, bring the ratio out of out of balance. So I was sitting at, you know, below 2.5% of my views came from my subscribers. And over the last year, slowly, 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 I've seen that number jump. And it's up to above 5% right now. And I'm, I couldn't be more happy about that. And... I'm not even looking at my total subs. I'm not looking at my total views. I want my my videos to be viewed by my subscribers. I'm putting them, I'm putting them out there for my subs. Um, so that's fantastic. That's that's a really cool number, and I want to see that rise. But in saying that, I don't particularly know what my niche is. You know, what is my niche? I love rugby. I love natural bodybuilding. I love dieting. I like I like helping people diet. I like explaining to people, you know, how the body works and how calories, calories in versus calories out is, is an efficient tool to use when, when trying to lose body fat. Um, I love sport. You know, I love music. I love using my drone. I really don't know exactly what direction this channel is going to go in. But I do know one thing, and it's, it's something that I got told by the man of vlogs, Casey Neistat. I've watched countless amounts of videos, you know, trying to explain how to grow your channel, the tricks behind growing a channel, uh, how to go viral, etc, etc. But there's one thing that I was told probably about a year ago, and um, I've, I've kept it in my head. I've told a lot of other people, and it's three simple words, guys. It's just keep uploading. Who gives a fuck what response you're getting? There's over a billion users on YouTube. A billion people. Someone's bound to like you. Someone is bound to fucking like you. You've got to stop worrying about what everyone else thinks. And that's in general life as well. But I do believe that YouTube has taught me that lesson. And, you know, I just needed a guy like Casey, who has, you know, a clear success record on YouTube, to tell me to just keep uploading. And that's what I did. Obviously... If a video comes out and it's, the quality's not there, I won't upload it. I do want my channel to be seen as you know a high quality channel. Um, and, that, and with that being said, you know, uniformed every single one of my thumbnails. So you know, I wanted someone to come to my channel and think, okay, this guy knows what he's doing. You know, he's got a nice cover photo, which I never had. Um, I've linked all my social media accounts you know, throughout every one of my videos. I've got my, my handles on my intro. I got a professional intro done. You know, that's something that I never, I never thought about. I didn't know how to get one done. And um, it just comes with time, man. It comes with experience. So we're at a thousand subs. It's nothing. I just said there's a billion users on, on freaking YouTube.
So with all that being said, I know I've talked way too much, but this is my thousand subscriber thank you video. So I wanted to make it good. I wanted to cover everything. Um, without you guys, this this platform, YouTube wouldn't be here without the viewers, you know. I'm sure there's a shitload more viewers than there is actually, you know, channels. But like I said, there's a billion people using this platform, whether you're a, a channel uploading videos or whether you're just a viewer. You're all important. We're at a thousand subs. Who would have thought? Who knows when the next thousand will come, but I do believe, I'm pretty confident it's going to come a little faster than the last thousand. From the first time I uploaded a video at the end of 2012, it's been over three and a half years. It's nearly been four years for me to get to a thousand subs. But like the great Casey Neistad said, just keep uploading. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And um, you guys are going to come along with me. So once again, thank you very much. Thank you everyone for all your support, views, likes, comments, shares, subs. We're at a thousand. And actually, before I go, there's one thing I want to do to mark the occasion. I didn't know what I was going to do, whether it was going to be a food challenge, it was going to be a workout challenge. Um, at the moment, I'm not in a position where I can do something like a 10,000 calorie challenge, although I do really, really want to do one. But it's not going to happen just yet. I'm cutting down for a show. Um, you guys are going to come along for the ride with that one too. In fact, straight after this, I'm actually going to make my six weeks out update video. So for all you who are interested and who've made it to the end of this video, um, I am cutting down for a, a natural bodybuilding show and that is where most of my efforts are going at the moment. So uh, with that being said, guys, I'm going to leave you guys right now. I think I've said everything. I'm going to open up the comment section for any questions you guys want to ask me. So to actually mark this occasion, I'm going to do a thousand subscriber Q&A. It's my first ever question and answer video. I'm going to open it up on Insta. I'm going to put it on Facebook, Snapchat. The only reason I haven't done a Q&A video before is one, because I wanted to wait for a thousand subs, and two, because I just second guess myself all the time. You know, for me to put something out on Instagram, um, asking for people's questions and then not get any, you know, that's that's gonna be hard. That's that's not easy to, to deal with. So I had in, in the back of my mind, you know, this, this idea to do a question and answer. I do know these guys out there, especially on my YouTube channel, who must have questions, you know, whether they be personal, I don't really care. This is this is me, as always, 100% transparent and honest to all you guys. I love all the support. I do love your questions. So far away, and a video will be coming out called my thousand subscriber Q and A, and it will be addressing every single question that I get because I know there's not going to be that many. So it's gonna, it's I don't know how long the video is going to be, but I'm going to answer everything you guys give me, personal or not. I don't give a shit. Far away. Until next time, guys, have a great day. I've talked way too much. I gotta go. Peace.